Hello Puppet fans! And welcome to this lecture. In this lecture we will use the Puppet Development Kit to generate the modules. Puppet Development Kit create high quality modules. PDK provides integrated testing tools and a command line interface to help you develop, validate, and test modules. So how to install PDK? There are two ways to install PDK on Linux-based system. First is to install from the package and second is to install from the repository. To install from the package you need to download the package for your operating system from the PDK download site. Then you can install the package using the command appropriate to your system. To install from the repository you need to enable the Puppet Platform repositories. So copy the repo path based on your OS and Puppet version and run the command to configure the repo. Now run yum install pdk to install the pdk package. Now we have installed the Puppet Development Kit so let create the module by using PDK. PDK generates a complete new module with metadata, as well as creating classes, define types, and tasks in your module. It also sets up infrastructure for validating and unit testing your module. When you run the PDK new module command, it requests the following information. Your Puppet Forge username. If you don't have a Forge account, you can accept the default value for this question. If you create an account later, edit the module metadata manually with the correct value. Module version your name. The license under which your module is made available. A list of operating systems your module supports. A one sentence summary about your module and few other questions. After answering all the inputs your module will be generated, verify your module's files and installation path. You can also a skip interview to omit the interview questions and create the module with default metadata values. To skip the interview questions run command pdk new module module name hyphen hyphen skip hyphen interview, and you will get the module generated without any input. Ok, so in this section we have generated puppet modules through puppet deployment kit. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have time feel free to move on to next lecture to generate java module.